What's good? We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic and more. Y'all know we do more than boxing. Giving our final thoughts on Super Bowl 52 between the New England Patriots and the Eagles of Philadelphia. And, um, you know, expectations is real high for this game. You know, a lot of people want to see Tom Brady and, and the Patriots. They say they're cheating. We want to see them go down, you know. Um, you know, as last year, didn't, um, you know, give anybody any closure on if the Patriots dynasty was trill or not. When well, it was no cheating accusations and they came back and they beat the Atlanta Falcons, you know. You know, then it wasn't a, just a field goal this time to undermine Tom Brady. He came back, you know, led the team back. No Gronkowski. I know what it is. <laughs> but, um, you know, people were just putting, you know, hope in Philly and just trying to make Vegas um, a lot richer, you know. I put money on Philly because the uh, odds are so good and People get lost in the sauce because Philly has a backup quarterback, Nick Foles, and people put a lot of stock into him putting up 15 points versus the Falcons, which is a dome team, and also putting 30 some points on the Minnesota Vikings, which is a dome team. And, um, you know, people forget that, you know, and um, you look at it, you know, anything can happen. You know, Philly is a solid football team, you know. Um, they, ain't, they they can run the ball good enough, you know. You know, Nick Foles can make some throws down the field. They got some explosive receivers in Smith, you know, Jeffries, and um and Nelson Aguilar, which I think is gonna have to be, you know, the Super Bowl MVP type guy on that offense for them to win this game. You know, him and Jay Jai is gonna be uh very, very key, you know. Um but, you know, at the end of the day, what people don't look at, they say this Philadelphia defense is it's great, and it's, it's, you know, this and that. Well, I've seen a few teams put some points on New York Giants, scored 30 on them not too long ago. Uh, you know, the, the Rams put 35 on them. So I'm just looking, I'm just looking, just looking at the stats. They got the 17th ranked pass defense, right? You know, this ain't, Jacksonville defense was better than Phillies. Phillies was better against the run, but, you know, a lot of people just ignoring a lot of signs. A lot of people got... Hope in Philly, Meek Mill in jail, and they just think it's their year. You know, if once upon, once upon, Carson Once Upon a Time was playing, I definitely think this they'd probably be slightly favored or should be heavily favored in a, what, what he brings to the game. But they have a backup, mediocre quarterback that's been playing above his pay grade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People forget that. And he's going against Bill Belichick. Now, you look at the Patriots defense, people say, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, they make adjustments. You're giving Bill Belichick, Matt Patricia, you know, two weeks to to, to, to game plan for, for Nick Foles? Come on, man. You know, and what Minnesota didn't do, you know, they're they going to make Nick, Nick, Nick Foles beat them. Let me put it to you that way. They're going to shut the run down. They're going to put Butler or Gilmore on Jeffries, and they're going to make them win. I'm telling you, Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz and Joseph and, and, uh, and uh, Jay Ajayi is going to have to be, be very key in this game. You know, they're going to have to get those matchups in the flats and coming out the backfield and the running backs on those slow linebackers. And Nelson Aguilar is going to have to beat that slot corner up all day for the Patriots to win this game. You know, and, and Ertz is going to have to take advantage of the linebackers and McCordy on them and be big. And if all, all in the midst of all of that, Nick Foles is going to have to be accurate. Don't make no mistakes. So if you get to turn the ball over, it's over with. And, and people was looking for Case Keenum to revert back to Case Keenumism. And people forgetting Nick Foles, that ain't Carson Wentz. Don't get lost up in the sauce. He ain't that good. You know, he ain't that good. Minnesota completely just fell apart. And at the end of the day, got a dome team coming outside. Now, we in the dome today. You know, it's going to be nice to see. And people forget. Eagles had no answer for Gronkowski. I'm telling you that right now. Eagles had no answer for the running backs coming out the backfield. Eagles had no answer for uh, Brandon Cooks going downfield. Eagles ain't no, had no answer for damn Amendola in the slot. And if Chris Hogan show up healthy today with two weeks off, it's going to possess another issue. Philadelphia's secondary isn't that good. The front seven is going to be key for them getting the pressure on Tom Brady. You know, it's going to be key. But I'm trying to tell you guys, you know, I believe at the end of the day, hopefully it's a good Super Bowl, but it just you know, I'm just believing in, in the Patriots in the Patriot way. Now, I know a lot of y'all guys, now, you know, a lot of people out there is looking at it from a fan standpoint. And believing, you know, in Philly and what they're doing at their time. I'm trying to tell you, backup quarterback ain't going to beat New England. You know, and if he does, you know, all props in the world to him. 
I've seen sillier things happen. But what the what the Eagles bring with their weaknesses is Tom Brady's gonna eat them up. Short passing game. Their corners are not good. Ronald Darby, Mills, Patrick Robinson, they're not any good. Michael Jenkins is the best guy at in the and his safety, and trust me, believe me, he can't handle Gronkowski one on one. He can't handle Lewis out the backfield. He can't handle James White out the backfield. You know, so they got to have a nice scheme and those exotic blitzes that that Jim Schwartz is, is is dialing up. Please believe me, Tom Brady has seen it, done it, and he already know what's going on. But like I say, for the Eagles to win, you know, if you miss my breakdown prediction video before I get out of here. Offensively, it's going to have to be tacking. It's going to be with the running backs out the backfield getting matchups on the linebackers and also Aguilar getting some runs and controlling the slot and making some plays downfield and being explosive. Defensive-wise, you know, they better pray. You know, I, I said I got the Patriots like 31 to 20 or 17, something like that. Um, you know, we talk about at the game. I could be wrong, but got New England. Let me know what y'all think. We out.